It's hard to dream of the open road in Paris, but there are still a few believers. This group of bikers meets weekly to talk about their next ride on their Harley Davidsons. When you drive the, motor, the Harley motorcycle, this is, I cannot explain exactly because it's, it's a special feeling inside you, 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 you have, and it's a completely freedom. The riders organize trips across Europe, but for many, the United States is the ultimate journey. Some have driven America's famous Route 66, which originally ran from Chicago, Illinois, to Santa Monica, California. I think America is a country of um, revolution, uh, innovation, big country, multicultural. The French in general, they seem to have a, an overwhelming passion, enthusiasm, and interest in American culture. Uh, we hear time and time again the, the dream of our clients to do the uh, crossing of the United States on Route 66, and what better way to do that uh, behind the handlebars of Harley. But dreams and politics sometimes clash. These Harleys risk getting a lot more expensive after the Trump administration slapped tariffs on European steel and aluminum exports. The European Union retaliated last week by taxing U.S. products like bourbon, peanut butter, orange juice, and Harleys. The manufacturer's decision to move some of its production overseas will help it avoid EU tariffs that have zoomed from 6 to 31 percent. That translates into big savings. Europe is Harley-Davidson's most important market after the United States. There have been other transatlantic spats targeting national icons. In 2003, American politicians called for a boycott of French cheese like Brie and Camembert after France opposed the U.S.-led war in Iraq. Jean-Pierre Raffarin was French prime minister at the time. I think maybe it's Europe's luck to have Mr. Trump as president because it finds a new unity in this adversity and maybe this will allow it to react strongly. But I hope things improve in the long term because Americans and Europeans must remain very close. Riders here believe even trade disputes will not stop French fans from buying Harleys. Because the, the people have a passion of Harley and the tax is, is, is the tax. We can do nothing. Their bigger challenge right now is to escape the Paris traffic and find the open road. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Paris.